We have new details about the El Paso County woman arrested today in connection with an infant's death from back in February at her home daycare. Those with the state tell us Dana McNair is not a licensed child care provider. She's being held at the El Paso County Jail right now, which is where we find new size Colette Bordelon and Colette. There's over a dozen charges in this case. That's right, and one of them is, of course, that felony charge of child abuse resulting in death. Now, the other over a dozen misdemeanor charges are all child abuse related. The sheriff's office says those are connected to the other kids at the daycare. Now, neighbors I talked to called the McNairs pleasant. One family even says they're the normal American family that you would know in any neighborhood. They are all shocked by this tragedy. It's a peaceful, quiet family neighborhood. Tucked away off of Widefield Drive. Just feeling completely heartbroken for the family um, and just shocked. Some neighbors knew there was a home daycare on their block. Anytime I saw kids, it was they were all happy. And from what I do know about the daycare center, they were loved in her care. Kids ranging from 18 months to seven years old, taken care of by Dana McNair, who operated the daycare without a license. Really kind. Um, my daughter is best friends with a granddaughter up there and uh, they play and, and my kids go to school right across the street. But on February 5th, some noticed an ambulance. I just remember hoping that nothing was wrong with with any kids. Unfortunately, the call was about an unresponsive young child at the daycare. Life-saving measures were attempted on scene. The infant was also transported to a local hospital, but unfortunately the infant died. Those with the sheriff's office say McNair was the only adult caring for the kids that day, but couldn't go into detail about the several other misdemeanor child abuse charges. That charge typically relates to the environment a child is being, in, in which a child is being cared for, uh, maybe a specific action a person does against a child, so it just runs a wide gambit of, of behaviors and actions. While neighbors say there are many sides to every story. Our roots here run really deep, and so any any kind of community tragedy, it's it hits home. Their hearts are with the family who lost their baby. McNair is being held here at the El Paso County Jail on a $50,000 bond. Her first court appearance set for this Wednesday afternoon. Now, I have put in a request for the arrest affidavit. The second I have that, I'll let you know. Always watching out for you, El Paso County. Colette Bordelon, News 5. Colette, thanks. And there are some situations in Colorado where child care centers are not required to have a license. The Colorado Office of Early Childhood says that includes a single religious instruction class like Sunday school, also a school or class for building a single skill like dancing or art. Child care centers operated in connection with and on the premises of a church, shopping center or a business and are cared for no more than three hours in a 24 hour period also exempt. Other unlicensed situations are occasional care that has no real pattern. A family care home for four or fewer children provided certain other requirements are met. Facilities approved by other state or federal departments and agencies agencies and medical care of children in nursing homes.